everybody. Welcome to Moment of Clarity. I know you have a lot on your plate. I know you're dealing with the whole uh, pandemic virus thing that is uh, going around the entire world. But I have something else for you. We are witnessing the largest robbery, the largest theft in American history, really in war, world history, because uh, 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 th th this amount of money had never been uh, stolen on this level, trillions of dollars. And again, I know you already had shit to deal with. So I'm sorry to be bringing this to you now, but it's kind of all wrapped up together. This is the largest theft we've seen in history, this bailout. And it's not even done yet, but what we've seen so far is the largest theft ever conceived. And yet, where's the talk about it? Where you get a you get a 5 minute you get a 5 minute uh, uh, panel on CNN. You get you get a little report on how workers are going to get $1200 checks. That's what you get. How much have you really heard about the amounts of money that are being stolen in this bailout, in this uh, just free-for-all of government cash just thrown to the largest corporations in the world? How much do you really hear an analysis of that? Nearly zero, because this is a pile of shit mainstream media. Their job is to manufacture consent for war and manufacture consent for the largest theft in history. Now, believe me, the virus is happening. The crisis is happening. Coronavirus is absolutely happening. Or even Donald Trump has admitted that it will kill between 100,000 and 200,000 Americans before this is over, if we're lucky. So it's not that it's not real. It is real. But so is the theft. This is not a stimulus bill. It's not a stimulus package. It's, I'm, not, I'm not stimulated. Are you stimulated? I am agitated. I am fucking agitated. And, 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 and so this is an agitation bill is what it is. And I want to give you some of the details here. And they're not coming from me because I'm a math moron, all right? So I don't want you to think that I was sitting there, carry the one, let's see, oh my goodness, trillions of dollars. No, I didn't do any of this math. It's coming from uh, uh, David Dayan, who writes for American Prospect. He's far more informed on matters of banking than I am. So just know, I didn't figure this out, okay? The enormity of this bailout is being underreported. The number you're hearing is $500 billion. Of that, $75 billion goes to the airline industry and the mysteriously named businesses critical to national security. Now, hold on. Let's just stop right there. The fuck does that mean? Business is critical to national security. Most of what you say is critical to national security, I'm talking now to the government, is generally shit I'm not a fan of. It's generally bombing innocent civilians or creating catastrophes overseas. It's generally uh, 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 you're keeping up our thousand military bases around the world. It's generally horrible shit. So whatever you consider critical to national security, how, is surveilling every American, is that the NSA's work? Is that what you consider critical to national security? Breaking our constitutional rights? That's critical to national security. So I just want to disagree with you on that right there. I think my shit's critical to national security. I think, I think making, making penis jokes in the middle of a calls for revolution is more important for national security than your shit, okay? I mean, really, what is essential personnel? All of a sudden, everybody that, 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 that is essential to our society, fucking f people that work at grocery store clerks and, 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 and janitors and, and the people that actually run the systems, all of a sudden, we've just noticed, oh, they're essential. Yeah, they're making minimum wage. If they're so essential, why don't you fucking pay them, huh? Why don't you fucking pay the people that are suddenly essential personnel? They all, of course, also consider under essential personnel police and stuff. Yeah, like, we need that many police. Like, we need a police officer on every corner to insert himself or herself into your life. Pol yes, police do some important things a tiny percentage of the time. And then they spend the other 99% of the time just fucking up the party. Just arresting people, usually black and brown people, for standing around, generally speaking. The average police officer makes one felony arrest a year. That's it. 
And if you want to, uh, if we were to suspend disbelief and pretend every felony is a hugely important crime that needed to be stopped, then still, that'd be one a year. Anyway, aside from that, let's keep going. The mysteriously named business is critical to national security. The other $425 billion helps capitalize a $4.25 trillion, with a T, leveraged lending facility at the Federal Reserve. So these will be loans that go out to mainly the largest corporations in the world and in the country. These will be massive loans. And supposedly they're going to be public, even though the initial bill called for all of this to be secret and the Democrats put up their little bit of fight, ooh, 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 and so they got a little bit of, of, of uh, transparency to it all. But the truth is, there's actually no oversight. The oversight is a panel, a little panel that's going to review things. How can a fucking panel of whatever it is, five people, how can they possibly review trillions of dollars of loans and make sure none of it's being used to just fill the pockets of CEOs and board members and shareholders. They can't and they won't. Not to mention filling the pockets of CEOs, that's considered legit. That's not illegal at all. So even when, even when this, uh, the, the stuff is found or even when we see, hey, they just made this CEO rich, they're gonna be like, yeah, that's fine. You see, we did this once before, back in 2008. They gave $700 billion in TARP funds, right? That Congress allotted for TARP funds. And there was a panel to oversee that it was all legit. And guess what? That oversight panel found fraud. And it didn't matter. It didn't stop it. It was nothing. And they, were, they, they found some tiny percentage of the actual fraud. You cannot have a panel overseeing the largest theft in human history. A panel of, of a couple of people with a tiny little budget is not going to stop this thievery. It's a massive robbery by the ruling elite. And this is how capitalism works now. This is how our late stage capitalism works. They wait for a crisis and then they steal all of the fucking money, trillions of dollars that they're just printing. Trillion, 4.25 trillion dollars. Normally I would round off the 0.25, but in this case, that's billions of fucking dollars. CEOs will use this money to enrich themselves and their stockholders. And need you, need you be reminded that 80% of all stocks are owned by just 10% of the population. Most of it owned by the most wealthy people in the nation. That is who will get rich off of this giveaway. Meanwhile, the people, the average people, get fucking breadcrumbs, right? We get a little, there's a little sparse, a little piece of cake that, that's this big. Well, it's all the rest is all $1,200 check. The fuck are you gonna do with a $1,200 check? What is that, a month's rent if you live in a cheap area? A half a month if you live in a slightly more expensive area? It's about five days of rent if you live in San Francisco? What the fuck is anyone gonna do with $1,200 while trillions is stolen by the richest people in the world? And don't forget, it was those same corporations, those same companies, those same big banks and investment firms, it was them that created a system that was so unstable that it couldn't handle a crisis, that it's unprepared for, for any sort of shake or jostle to the system. They've already made it that way. So in fact, it's their irresponsibility that is now rewarded with trillions of dollars. And, and this both goes to show how fragile and unstable this system is. And it goes to show how sociopathic it is, how they will use any crisis, any suffering of human beings to extract more wealth for themselves. And this is how it should be talked about on every mainstream outlet. This is the way they should be discussing it. It should not be like, oh, I feel the Democrats uh, didn't push for enough oversight in the, in the thing with the thingamabob. As long as it's being discussed like that, instead of discussed like this, it is wrong, it is incorrect, and it's manipulative, okay? That, uh, that is the job of the mainstream media. Fucking manufacture consent, or at least manufacture apathy, manufacture ambivalence for these crimes. Let them go about. 
as they uh, let let the thieves owners the the fucking kleptocrats of our society go about their business steal their trillions and give the breadcrumbs to the people anyway sorry to get a little too stimulated by this stimulus bill sorry to be a bit agitated but we should be we should be angry we should be furious that's your moment of clarity. Uh, if you want to hear more of my uh, angry tirades about important stuff, all right? I'm not just screaming about nothing. This would be a completely different thing if I was up here like, I think key lime pie tastes more like lemon than lime. Then you'd be like, I think he's too angry. But this is legit shit. It's the name of my next comedy album, Legit Shit. shit. Speaking of that, if you want more, uh, my comedy special is now free for anybody who wants to watch it, at least for a, a limited time. It's at LeeCampAmerican.com. Please share it with your friends. Pay me that one honor, that one respect. If you like the goddamn comedy special, send it to friends. It's got a lot of important ideas in there. It, it talks about a Wall Street's a Ponzi scheme, 21 trillion uh, unaccounted for at the Pentagon, the, re the way we're funding the terrorists that we claim to be fighting. Uh, it, you just go down the list. Uh, our fraudulent election system, it's all in that comedy special. Lee Camp America com free to watch it there also if you want my book uh or the digital version 10 percent off if you just use the coupon code the initials of the title bullet points and punchlines um is the is the title so you just use the initials bp apl and uh, put that in as the coupon code at leecampbook.com and you can get 10 percent off all right keep fighting